Hey YouTube, this is React City and Mike. And Rose. And Nikki. And this is Crunchyroll. Wait a minute. This is just, just a guy. <laughs> so last time we left off with Mr. Coat Rack uh, making a coat rack in the after scroll. Mm -hmm. Stroll. Mm -hmm. uh, what else do you remember from the episode? <laughs> yeah, so the, we've still got that big fight going on yeah. between Toto. Toto, Itadori, and Mother Nature. His name is Toto. Yeah. We just have two Totos. We have because two we're Totos. watching Code Geass at the same time. Oh, yeah. I just yeah. realized like that. Yeah, so we've got a fight between Toto, Mother Nature itself, and Itadori right now. Mm -hmm. I, I think we left the episode with Toto about to power up. Mother Nature Mother was Nature also just ready. started enjoying the fight. Yeah. yeah sure. So she most likely has a power up. All right, guys, let's get into it. Remember to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and check the description for our Patreon in the description to see these episodes a whole week early. Let's get into it. Oh, dear. Uh, that, it's a dark? In third grade, he beat up a high schooler. When this kid was nine. Oh, wow. he mocked him. Motorcycle gang. He's nine, get away. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Zoom pan? Alright. Let's do it though. This is so much analyzed. <laughs> What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. Five hundred thirty thousand horsepower. Yes. <laughs> because I'm not alone. Marasa. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> oh, oh. Well. All right. That was good. Oh last dear. Week. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Unfortunate. Nice. nice. He did the snap. It kept the momentum. It kept the momentum. That's OP. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a scene I saw. I, I saw them two running towards it. <laughs> nice. Oh. Teleports, man. Can't anticipate the punches. Yeah, they're so different. Yeah. You need to use AoE. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh. Can't break out of it. I love it. Is or that the black fist? No. It is. Oh. Okay. Probably just two. Oh, wow. Hmm. <laughs> One. Drop kick. Oh. He landed one with his <laughs> heel. Nice. This is. No, this is consecutive. Two, this is consecutive. I mean, this is consecutive. So this is three. Yeah, three in a row. <laughs> oh, I cry. He didn't do it. They didn't swap. Hey. <laughs> Come on. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Tie the record. <laughs> Imagine if it's not luck this time. Only fights with Black Flash. That'd be crazy. Yeah, right. <laughs> nice. Mm. All right, so this can be stopped. Mm. <laughs> oh. Ah. No. Oh, they both got each other. <laughs> Ouch! He's getting used to it. Ew! They're um, they're like bullet bills. <laughs> they're actually bullet bills. Got it. But Thor oh. has to stay there, though. Yeah. He did say to believe in him. We hope. Uh oh. He's saying it before, though. Yeah. Tanaka like said? Oh, he's figuring it out now. Mm. He's surprisingly smart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He figures it out. Happened in 0 0.01 seconds. <laughs> oh, he was opposite turned <laughs> off his curse energy. Nice. Oh, those went, went into went her. Into that's gross. Yeah. They're reversed. <laughs> National handshake of it. <laughs> nice. Wow. Ouchie. Uh -uh. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Anything? A certain level. Mm. Ooh, what's he going for? Oh! The super oh. powerful thing. <laughs> How far is he? Oh, right in the face. Mm. Oh, wow. He broke him right off. Nice. Oh. Uh oh. Oh dear. Stop drinking the earth. Stop it. Oh no. He's dying. He's sucking up the earth that it said it loved. Mm. Oh, it's got an eye. Oh, it's like powering up a special beam. Oh no. Oh dear. Dodge, dodge. Oh no. Gojo. Someone's up, someone's up there. Did he break it? Please tell me it's Gojo. It's white hair. Yes, of course it is! Oh, you're in trouble now. Oh no, he took off his blindfold. His pupils are so oh. tiny. Rock on, old man. Rock on! <laughs> You look a lot like Nishi. Nishi. That's weird. That's uncomfortable. I don't know why. Juzo. Juzo. Another name. Oh, oh that guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, he wasn't. No. And then it happens. Uh, We're getting POVs. <laughs> Time to go. Bye. Chase him. <laughs> well, he's new to this. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. Probably the big one. She got away from him last time. Hmm. <laughs> Already? Yeah. Nothing. Correct, eh? Yep. Dead. Oh, oh dear. I guess he wants to talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> He feels uh, it coming. <laughs> purple. Purple. Oh my oh, god. Oh, dude. He's so powerful. Yeah. It looks like he just. Red matter bomb? I don't know. <laughs> Did it make it a time? <laughs> non standard. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> There's that one dude running through the forest. Those are sorcerers. Are they wearing Zenin robes? Yeah. He tra he transfigured them. Uh, oh, he got them. the thing. Mm. It was a distraction. Yeah. Wow. It's all a distraction. Quite distra distra distraction. That's surprising. <laughs> Salmon. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Discussion. Discussion. Um, that was a fantastic fight. Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed the combination between Toto and Isidori. And it just kept going. I kept waiting yeah. for that moment that it's gonna, they're going to slip up or something. Mm -hmm. No, they're just too in sync. Yeah. Yeah, they're really mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. And the anim they did the animation mm -hmm. justice. It, it wasn't just like like fight, quick things that you can't see. We saw everything. And it's something so simple as he can swap places with things. Mm -hmm. It's so powerful. Yeah. yeah. He just can't. Do I block? Do I not block? He doesn't necessarily do it every time. He's going to swap me. There's so many different combinations for three people, you know? Mm -hmm. Don't know which one's coming. So we saw a bit of his backstory. As a third grader, he beat up a high schooler because mm -hmm. he was cocky. And then he met this... Uh, oh, so cycle chick. Motorcycle chick who I assume is a sorcerer? Yeah. Well, she had like a yeah. thing around her, so I'm assuming that's how he got introduced to the world of Jujutsu sorcerers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We didn't get a whole lot about that. Maybe we're going to get another flashback eventually. Maybe, mm -hmm. yeah. And he said that, uh, what, was it? what did he say? Some not boredom. To cut oh. through, stop the boredom. It turns his ups boredom upside down. Yeah. Yeah. Because even fighting the high schooler didn't like give him anything. Mm -hmm. It was a boring guy getting beat up. Yeah. The boring fight. And he was saying that Itadori did the same thing yes. with him. He's, he's cutting through the boredom. Yes. yes. Giving him that same bah feeling. I loved in the fight, he was like, my 530,000 IQ CPU brain <laughs> got it. <laughs> it spells victory. <laughs> What's amazing is that he's, he, the, the process is that of an idiot, but the conclusion is that of a genius. 
<laughs> so it's really hard to like pin him down for one or the other. I, I'd almost flip that. Yeah. Really? Because the way he puts things is so simple and it seems so random and arbitrary. But when we go inside of his mind and all the things he goes through, like super quick, like remember that point one seconds? Point zero one. Point zero one seconds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, I wonder if anybody understands how much he analyzes in a fight, you know? Mm-hmm. Because that is also something in real life is if you want to be like a UFC fighter or something like that, mm-hmm. it's like a chess match with your body. Mm-hmm. Like they talk about that with like people who get judos and headlocks and all that. Every single step, every single movement, you have to calculate all of it. And But what if he does that, mm-hmm. yeah. you know? So, yeah, you've got to have a brain on you if you're going to be a fighter. Yeah. The funny thing is, though, everyone only talks about his muscles, which is what Nishinoya, the girl, um, said. It's the only thing you've got going for you is your strength, but I think he's got more than that. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Nishinoya? I, I think that's that her name. The girl who flew, flew on the broom? Broom girl? I don't remember her name. I don't think the name was Nishinoya. Anyways, I, um, I like the, that the point oh one second um, figuring out the curse energy, he decided, let me take time to put Taraka-san into my memory. Okay. Takada. Tara- Takada. Ta- Takada. Takara and let her be responsible for giving me this knowledge. And then he was like, I have to thank her at the National Handshake event. <laughs> you see, that's the, the thing. Like, if it, A lot of him seems so crazy, and I want to know what was the change that made him like that. Because mm. he didn't seem too nuts in the past. We didn't really see much of his past, but he was just very, oh, this guy mocks me, I beat him up. Mm-hmm. That's all. Mm-hmm. You know, this pretty normal person. Mm-hmm. So what made him so eccentric, I wonder? And the the... One thing that was a part of breaking him out of his boredom, so to speak, was she is the one who introduced him to the concept of what kind of woman do you like? Oh, yeah. 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 So that's part of what brought him, maybe he put those two together, kind of completed them, and became his personality. Mm. Yeah, and the answer, he can tell who you are right away based yeah. on that back then. Right. Mm. Um, so Black Flash, huh? Right. Black Flash. Flash. He did the four consecutive. Yes. He made it to four. And, and it apparently wasn't that was the... And it wasn't luck, mm-hmm. and that was the, the, the record. record. Mm-hmm. Heels are, they tied the record. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait for him to tell the guy, see if it, there's any reaction at all. <laughs> I don't think he... I don't think it... What's his name? Itadori. Even he realizes. Really understands the concept of what what Black Flash is. Yeah, because he's... He's just, just kind of using it just casually. It's just, Not even. I think he just... He's picked it up so quickly. Like, in the... I don't think they've been out there an hour. So, it's like... Less he, than 30 minutes. Actually. So to him, it might be like, yeah, I just, it's a con- it's something I learned from Toto. It's a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't think it would come to his head to say, oh, by the way, I used it four times. No big deal. Mm-hmm. You know? And Gojo just is standing up there. All right, I'll kill you first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I they like that he, he saw that Itadori was like leveled up mm-hmm. really high. And he saw Toto's like, oh, he's there. He should, ah, they'll be able to deal with yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> I'll deal with this guy first. <laughs> yeah. Crushed all his limbs immediately. Yeah, Mr. Coatwright. Just like Use a look. The crushed hands, you could even see the way the hands were. It's like they're twisted. Mm-hmm. Like, like a, a toothbrush. Like, mm-hmm. So he pushed and pulled on every single, <laughs> on every single limb. Toothbrush. We're going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> he just like told off the old man. He's like, fix him. Fix him. You deal with I was actually disappointed a little with the old man. I wanted to see what he could do. Yeah. yeah. And all we got was... All right, he uses music, turns it into energy, pushes him back. That's all we got to see. I really wanted to see, is there something to fear in this old man? I, I, I do well, believe there is, but I want to see it. Mm-hmm. He's um, top level for a reason, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> His character design is still awesome. He's like a regular old guy in a kimono. No, pulls it off. He's a rocker now. Yeah. yeah. With all the piercings and everything. That was great. I, I would like them to explain exactly what warrants taking off the mask as well for mm-hmm. Gojo. Mm-hmm. Um, the other guy, his friend, also has those glasses things. I, I would kind of like to see, is there something else that's going on there? Like the understanding pact, maybe you get some sort of a boost or something if you have it on, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But I'd like to see exactly why. Mm-hmm. And I wonder if uh, Gojo, when he destroyed the veil, like at the point that he did, was he like waiting or did it take that long? I imagine you know? it would have to have been that he took that long. Mm. Because, figure it out because he was panicked a little bit when he saw that they were locked in there because mm. he, he does care about his students you know yeah mm. so i feel like it was like all right working out working out working out breakthrough yeah because it was know. made to keep him out right mm-hmm. you know? right and he figured it out which is kind of like so whoever gave this guy the story mm-hmm. of make the veil to get satoru and then it was just to keep him out mm-hmm. um whoever's behind that is 
well, it's most likely, what's that guy? You don't know his name. The the main curse user that Ghetto. Ghetto. Is it Ghetto in his name? Ghetto. Ghetto? Yeah. So I'm guessing he's like behind it and sent them off, go do my bidding. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's it's probably manipulated the pawns to mm-hmm. do something. Because mm-hmm. like, okay, this idiot wants to make Gojo into a court rack. He yeah. doesn't have a 20th of a power level to be able to do that. Right. So, all right, this is how you make a veil. He'll make sure he can stay in. Mm-hmm. But really makes him stay out, which mm-hmm. means that he's, he's just strong enough, along with these other things, to keep them busy. Mm-hmm. And that's give me enough time to go get the finger. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Matsu has, you notice, um, killed some people there. Mm-hmm. In, mm-hmm. They were in white... They were in the, the stuff Zenin. that the Kyoto girl was was wearing. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just the Zenin clan stuff, but yeah, it just came out. Already. So I, I wonder where exactly that is. That's all I wonder. Like, was that a? Well, it, it it's gonna be under the veil, but like, who? Because I don't know if we've seen other people. We've seen the people in the room, which were like the main people. Mm-hmm. So do they have like other um, random people that were like scattered around to make sure things were going correctly or something? What, what were you talking about under the so, veil? Yeah, where Mahito got the finger from. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that was outside the veil. Outside? Yeah. Probably mm-hmm. like somewhere close to the school, mm-hmm. but that's why they need a distraction mm-hmm. to keep them busy. Mm-hmm. Also, that's probably why they sent Flower Girl, because she d- is the only one who escaped Gojo. She saved Jogo, mm-hmm. the grand and stuff, mm-hmm. so yeah. maybe she could do it again, send her in there in case these others just fall apart, mm-hmm. which they would have if she wasn't there. Yeah. Um, even Isidori could have taken out the other guy, probably. Well, maybe. Don't know. I think we maybe... don't know. Hmm. I think maybe he could. Yeah, it, it just he, we didn't really get to see what he could do either. Yeah. And then there was the other random guy with, with the hand holding yeah. his hand. And apparently he's weak, so mm-hmm. he needed that thing yeah. to help keep it in his hand. An that was really gift. creepy. Yeah. It's like, you're weak, so have this thing hold your hand. I was thinking he looked like the girl who flew on the broom. That's, yeah. that's why I was saying it looks like Nishi's brother or something. Oh. What's her name, by the way? Please tell us. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's Nishi. I don't think it's, it's Nishi Noe. I don't think it's Nishi. <laughs> and um, what's his name? When... <laughs> When what's his, uh, Toto was like with Itadori, he's like, I'll tell you one thing. Don't stop. And I forget what else he said. Believe in me. Believe in me. He's like, okay, that's two though. That's two. <laughs> Just say no. The pure happiness on his face as he clapped each time. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. We didn't get to see the flower girl's bud power get used oh yeah it was so, just about to be yeah that's her trump card i'm wondering how powerful that is it mm-hmm. seems like it can only target one person at a time because she said you'd just dodge so it's not like a bomb thing mm. so she was going to use domain expansion yes to, to make sure this connects yeah mm-hmm. and i wonder which one she would go for mm. probably toto you think toto yeah, yeah. he's the one who's I'm doing the clap thing too which yeah is the most troublesome thing so yeah. far the domain expansion Mm-hmm. Keep Toto from clapping himself outside of the domain. Mm. It's weak from things going in, but mm-hmm. it's not weak from things. No, it's, it's the other it's way around. Strong from things going out, and it's weak yeah. from things going, going in. in. Yeah. So if you got somebody on the other side, what if it, if you try to clap, you only pull them in <laughs> mm. <laughs> because you can't get out, but right. they can break in. Right. But mm. through the process of getting in, they wouldn't have broken through the wall. So then now you're both in there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no clue. Uh, so that was a good discussion, guys. Remember to leave a like on the video, hit the subscribe button, and check the pa- check the description for the Patreon to see these episodes a whole week early. We will see you guys next week, next time, or whatever time you decide to watch again. Bye! Oh, bye! Special thank you to Saud, Mohammed, Abel, Robin, and Wordmaster 